Currently in game, the artillery support mechanic is completely useless. The likelihood of it actually doing anything is so low that I in fact don't even use it offensively. I use it defensively as another way to create a smoke screen. And I believe this is actually common among many experienced players. Just to see how bad it is, I decided to go out to a test drive and artillery the first light tank multiple times to see how long it would take till the thing died and it didn't die. I could have gone out for longer, but I got bored. So I thought of a few ideas on how it could be more useful on an individual level. And the way of doing that would be to add more types of artillery to the game. My first thought was allowing you to research smoke artillery to smoke out your location as from other area. But I thought, hey, why not expand on the whole artillery thing entirely? My first idea was to have four different types of artillery. There would be small caliber, which would be like 75 millimeter and small caliber artillery would, would have a shorter cooldown so you get to call it in more, but being smaller shells, you're less likely to actually do anything. And this would be the first tier modification. After that would be the current artillery we have in game and all of its useless glory. I believe it's currently 150 millimeters is the artillery size. And then after that would be smoke artillery, which allows you to call down smoke on somewhere in the map close by you. And finally, is what I thought would be the most fun, is large artillery, which would have a longer cooldown time and have fewer shells hit the ground, but it would be more suitable to kill someone. I was thinking maybe 300 millimeters and up, typically battleship cannons or rail guns. But it's possible that smoke artillery might be a little overpowered if you can just smoke out some random area. There would be a call in time, so you'd have to prepare ahead of hand, but also it could make the map really messy. So my other idea, have rocket artillery, which would have no difference than regular artillery except for look cool and sound cool. But also on this, I thought, what if Instead of just large railroad cannons, they had ridiculously large siege weaponry as the final form of artillery, but only have like one or two shells land. It would be kind of like bombing an area, but you don't have to jump into a bomber to do so. And of course, the cooldown times would be ridiculously long. And another way to balance any of these attributes is to increase or decrease the call-in time, the time it takes from you to ask for artillery or support and for this artillery support to show up. And then my final idea was, why not also make it more historically accurate as we have certain types of artillery for certain tanks depending on what time that tank was used. For example, the Type 90 would have 105 millimeter M2A1 as the small caliber artillery, because I couldn't find Japanese self-defense force having anything smaller than that. Or 155 millimeter FH-70 artillery, 75 inch 130 millimeter rocket artillery, or 200 three millimeter m110 artillery support and while it would require gaijin to look into a bit more to find which types of artillery used by a certain nation at certain times they wouldn't need much information besides the payload of the shell because they're not going to model the actual artillery cannon another reason why i think this is a good idea is because if gaijin were to let's say remove certain modules that people don't like this wouldn't reduce the grind and so they wouldn't have to find another way to monetize things. It's just this could replace unwanted modules. Overall, I think this would add another level of gameplay to tank battles. Not a whole lot, it wouldn't change everything, but it would be more interesting. People would actually fear having artillery called on them because they don't know if they're, someone's going to be calling in large artillery or smoke artillery or small artillery. If you like this idea and want to comment on it, you can do that, of course, down below, or you can do that on my Discord. That's about all. So thanks for watching. If you'd like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, don't hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I make these random videos throughout the week whenever, but I make news videos on War Thunder every weekend on Sunday. So hit that bell icon to be notified anytime I upload one of those. And thanks for watching, and thanks for watching.